homeschoolers that you are, you just love to participate in sermons. So um, tonight, I will be talking with you guys about guarding your source. So every time you hear that word source, what I'm going to need from you is for you to go splish splash. So let's try that. Source. Splish splash. Wow, that was all over the place. One more time. Source. Splish splash. You got to do the hands, guys. Oh, yeah, all right. So keep that up through the whole thing. All right, Proverbs 4.23. This is my all-time favorite verse. Um, I, I think it's one that's kind of neglected a little bit. But the way it goes is, above all else, guard your heart, for it is the source of life. Now, what does it mean to guard something? Does that mean you look at it once, and then you go away, and you never... You know, take it again. You never check on it. We think of, yeah, we ask Jesus in our heart, and then we're done. We're good, right? No. We ask Jesus into our heart, and he cleans our source. But we have to keep protecting it. Um, I have been going to Southeastern off and on for eight years. Uh, being in Lakeland, I was able to dual enroll here while I was in high school. And... Um, during that time period, this Jesus fountain, y'all know the Jesus fountain? Mm -hmm. It was brand new. And it was beautiful, and you know, like news crews came out and filmed it, and it was just a big deal. And so one of the seniors thought that a great prank would be to take a giant bubble, uh, or a giant bubble, like bubble bath, and just <laughs> dump it all in that Jesus fountain. So in the morning, it looked like Jesus was giving one of the disciples a bubble bath. The bubbles had billowed over and were just pouring onto the ground. You could literally barely see Jesus' head. Um, it was hilarious. Totally irresponsible and wrong. But hilarious. Um, so how does that happen? How do you pollute something? With bubble bath, vinegar, Mountain Dew, Diet Coke, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, how do you get that into the complete water... Source, you've got to get it at the core. You've got to get it where everything stems from. So how do we go about making sure that our source is clean? The first, splish, splash. <laughs> the first is, watch what you say. Um, Danielle, right? Yes. Just went over that a minute ago. Uh, but in Luke 6, 45, it says, A good man brings good things out of the good stored in his heart. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. What you are full of, what you love, you can't help but talk about it. Um, I love Doctor Who. Sophie and I both love Doctor Who. And anytime, you know, we like I wore this Doctor Who shirt, and Sophia's like, "Oh my gosh, I love your shirt!" And we could not help talk about it because we both just love the TV show. It's corny and it's science fiction and it's wonderful. Um, so the things that, that you love can't help but pour out of your mouth. Some of us, we have a bigger problem keeping it in. If you're like me and God made you without a filter, things pour out of your mouth all the time and there's nothing you can do about it. While other people, you have to think you know, a, lo a little longer before you speak. Like my husband, if you ask him a question, you just know you've got to wait like five minutes for a response because he's going to kind of ponder it. But you're going to talk about the things that are important to you. Uh, point two, renew your mind. Romans 12.2 says, Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, perfect will. God's will is good. And God's will, how do we read that? How do we find that out? It's in the Word. That's the first place where we find God's will. So in our minds, we can change our way of thinking by filling our mind with that word and that will in turn get its way to our source splish, 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 splish. Splish. <laughs> and that will come out of our mouth point three renew your spirit psalms 51 10 create in me a pure heart O god and renew a steadfast spirit within me we renew our spirit by spending time with the lord you know if i, I stopped talking to selfie we wouldn't be really good close friends would we you know we relationships are built by time put into them and they become a part of us you know if someone messes with my friends I'm like uh-uh I'll be all over that um, and that's the same with God as we spend time with him as we pray as we just uh, rest in his presence 
You know, he becomes a part of us and he renews our heart and his goodness becomes our goodness. So my challenge to you this week is kind of observe your, your source and see where it's at. Splish, right. splash. Right. Good job, Lydia.